Hello, everybody. All right, let's see how this is going to go. Yeah, we're going to do uh, facing the wrong way today. We're going to do uh, looking at a face hole instead of uh, looking at some knives. I am in a hotel in Germany from the Hotel Zinthof in uh, Kochum. Lovely little hotel, actually. First time I stayed here. It's very, very nice. And hopefully the Wi-Fi will uh, cooperate with us. Let me look here and see on my thing. There we go. So that I can look at this. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Now I can see you. <clears throat> Ta -da. There we are. So I said, when is this going to start? Right when I said it was. I said 6 Eastern time, and that's, uh, that's when it's firing up. Hey everybody, we're getting a few people on now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, welcome to uh, Kalkholm, Germany. My, I call it home, but uh, I only lived here for a few years, but I get to come back once a year, and I really like it. I have to remember to look at the camera over here instead of looking over there so I don't look like a weirdo. I am going to be occasionally looking to the side here, though, to look at your uh, your comments and stuff. So um, yeah, I am on hotel Wi-Fi, so I apologize if there's some buffering. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, it is midnight and uh, it is a European hotel, which means the walls are thin. So I hope I'm not bothering anyone. But uh, I know there's some people around me. I can't hear them, so I assume they can't hear me. But uh, welcome, everybody. It's my birthday. I'm, well, actually, it's not anymore. It just isn't my birthday anymore here in Germany. But it it is where you are, probably, assuming you're in America. I'm, it's still my birthday there, so ex extended birthday, I guess we'd call it. Um, yeah. Uh, and I just about three minutes ago passed 8,000 subscribers. So happy birthday to me right before the end of, uh, my birthday. I passed 8,000 subs. So that was cool. And they said happy birthday from Merca. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, the, uh, the super chat things up down below too. If anybody wants to kick in a few shekels, I always appreciate that. I always winds up going back, uh, t back towards knives and stuff. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a fun week. I have all day tomorrow. I fly out Tuesday morning, and then I will uh, land and I will play with my uh, pair of three lightweight. Maybe a, a bench made bailout. Maybe there. I don't know if it's gonna make it in time or not. We'll see. Sometimes stuff gets there quicker. If not, I'll be there the next day. And I think I'm gonna have a uh, Buck Marksman Gray Ghost waiting for me when I get home too and something from the pass around group I don't remember I don't remember what it was um what was it? oh CRKT slacker yeah so got lots of stuff to mess with when I get home that'll be fun looking forward to that but right now just enjoying uh being home in Germany and uh just seeing all my old stomps and all that stuff it's really nice to come back here for uh since you're looking at my face I'll be a bit more personal than usual um uh, I lived here, like I said, for a few years, and uh, when I got off the plane in very late 2001, I think within like two or three months, I said I'm never leaving here. Like, I loved it. It's beautiful. Thank you very much, Alan. I appreciate it. Um, I, I just said I was never leaving, and then life got in the way, and in uh, late 2005, I had to leave, go back to America. I always plan on coming back. Never happened. Um, actually didn't set foot back here until for 10 years, 12 years. And then the last three years, I've been able to come back for business. And every time I do, I swing by here to Kalkum and, you know, visit my old haunts, see some old friends. And uh, I miss it horribly. And every time I'm here, I definitely get a, uh, it's a happy sad I guess that's the way to, to call it. I'm very happy to be back, and I very much enjoy it. But I'm sad that I don't I don't live here anymore. And uh, that uh, it hurts, but it, it's nice to be able to come back and, you know, recharge my batteries a bit. And, um, and I've told lots of people that my favorite thing about being in Europe is uh, I'm out of time sync with everyone else. So I wake up early at, like, 6 in the morning, Thanks, Zach. I appreciate it. I wake up at like 6 in the morning, and I know that my phone isn't going to ring until 1 or 2 in the afternoon. Because everyone who can bother me is still asleep. And I love that. Like, my favorite thing is mornings in Europe. It's just awesome. Nobody bothers me. And it's fantastic. It's it's so nice. I have 
my personal life with my mother is uh, in a nursing home and, you know, two kids and all this stuff. It's just, uh, it, things get a little very hectic and uh, I get, I get a few hours every day where nobody bothers me and it is, it's amazing. You, you learn to value that time. I think the older you get, and yeah, it's my birthday, so the older I get, I'm, uh, I'm two score and four years old on this day. I'm 44 years old, so that's, uh, what my birthday was. But beer, I forgot about beer, I started getting all philosophical. I'm sorry about the camera angle, by the way, I'm just on my phone, this is the best I could do with what objects were laying around the hotel. Of course, Bitburger, this is the beer of this region go to almost any bar. It is a common misconception. I think people think that every, uh, and this is Lord of the, uh, it's for some taxi place that was in the hotel, bottle opener. Um, they, uh, I think everybody thinks that you go to German uh, bars and everybody has nine million. In, yeah, thanks for stopping by, Jack. Appreciate it. Um, people think that every bar has 90 different kinds of beer. They don't in Germany. It's usually two or three. And that's it. It's like usually like it's whatever whatever beer brand that bar is affiliated with. I'm gonna use a proper glass today. We'll see whether or not I steal that. I haven't decided yet. They seem like good people. I probably won't. But I normally only steal glasses from hotels that make me mad. And this one seems fantastic so far. So I, I probably won't. But not the one I usually stay in. But I'm glad I found it. It's nice. It may be the, it may become the one I usually stay in. Uh, but yeah, it's not it's not like beer paradise. It's it's what it's good beer everywhere. But it's it's just whatever that bar is affiliated with. Got some of your questions here. Nice to see the place again before it gets totally overrun. Um, do I speak any German? Yeah, I do. All right. I, I, I was, I've been actually, that's one of the, been, been one of the best parts of this trip is, um, like I said, I started coming back three years ago and first year back, I, I, my German was gone. I spoke it fairly okay when I lived here and then I, uh, I just lost it and I was very upset with myself and I worked on it. And then last year it was, eh, okay. the last two days I was here out of the two weeks I got to be okay, but. This time right off the plane, I've been doing all right. I've been pretty happy. I actually, thank you for the, all the birthday wishes. Um, yeah, they already think you're going to steal the glasses. Don't disappoint them. Good point. Good point, William. Um, I love me some Bitburger. Um, yeah, uh, you can get bur Bitburger in America, but it's been sitting on a boat forever, so it's it's not the same. It's so much better over here. Um yeah, funny story. I was very proud of myself on what day was it? Uh, Friday. I spoke German the entire day. I didn't ask anyone if they spoke English. No one spoke English back to me. I, that's that's very frustrating sometimes when you think you did a really good job speaking German to someone and then they speak English back to you because they got that, oh, this guy doesn't speak. He's an American and he, they speak English back to you. That didn't happen to me the whole day. I did great the entire day. I was at a restaurant with friends, and it was a place you had to walk up and, like, order, like, at the window, and then they brought the food out to you. And I walked up to the window and uh, ordered my food, and the guy said something back, and I just didn't quite hear him. And I thought he asked anything else. I think he was, I thought he was asking, like, do you want anything else with your order? And I said, uh, I didn't even say nine, I just said, uh, no. He was asking my name for the order and I said no so I told him my name was no which uh he goes no what's your name in English and I was like god damn it I almost had a perfect day thank you very much for the, the kick-ins uh uh thanks Keith I appreciate it um uh duh. no people understand what I say here pretty good I'm, I'm pretty I'm all right I'm okay with German I'm, I'm uh I can understand almost everything people say to me it just takes me a minute to respond sometimes um, as with a lot of things, uh, what other questions we have here? Like a lot of birthday wishes. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And thank you for 8,000 subs. That's a good birthday present that barely made it. It was like, I, I refreshed it at 1155 and I had 799, 7,999 and then I refreshed it. Refreshed? Hmm. 
that sounds gross, refreshed it at uh, 1157, and I had 8,000, so that was cool. Uh, that's a very good sneaking in at the last minute birthday present. Guten Tag, it is, uh, it is actually Guten, uh, Guten Nacht here. It's uh, past, past midnight. 12.09. The, they roll the streets up here at like, especially on, this is Sunday, so God on Sundays, man. It's, uh, it's a miracle that uh, anything's open past like five in the afternoon. Even here, this is like a resort town. It's a beautiful place. If you guys go back a year ago, my videos, I shot some video of the of the actual like village and stuff. And uh, it is a very touristy place. Chocker box full of Dutch people. It's always wall to wall Dutch people, Dutch tourists. But um, which I don't know, I don't know why they come here all the time, but uh, they do. Um, and uh, but still, even that, yeah, it's even on a weekday, even it's uh, on our Saturday about six o'clock. All the stores close. Some of the restaurants might stay open till seven, eight. I know uh, past eight, there's only um, two places to eat in this town. There's a an Imbus, which is like a German junk food place. I love Imbuses. I love German junk food. Um, it's attached to a casino. And then there's a pizza place right almost next door to here. And um, I went and got a pizza just, I wasn't even hungry, but I wanted to get something. Yeah, thanks, Jake. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I wanted to get a pizza, so I had some food to eat, because if uh, if I didn't, I wasn't going to have anything to eat until, you know, breakfast tomorrow at 8. And then I got the pizza, and it smelled so good, I, I ate three quarters of it. <laughs> so I only have a little bit left. Uh, what's my favorite uh, whiskey or scotch? Uh, scotch Glenfiddich uh, whiskey, probably Knob Creek. I, I like some of the fancier ones too, but uh, I never remember the name of them. Uh, speaking of Dutch, your favorite beer is Grolsch. Oh, okay, good for you. It's actually, Dutch Grolsch in in Holland is uh, not bad, but it's not good. Um, in America, usually, I think it's like a same thing with the Bitburger. It sits on a truck too long. Um, oh, you let you let them test your uh, dividend, your beloved dividend. Um, that's because Knob Creek is the best bourbon ever. You're very, very passionate about that, Steve. Um, double salted Dutch licorice. I, I hate licorice in all of its forms. I think it is a vile substance. Um, I do have, what candy do I have? I always get snacks. Oh yeah, here's what I have within reach. This is just what I have within reach. Uh, um, I always buy these over here, Nick Knox. Fantastic. They're kind of like corn nuts, but way, 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 way better. And, uh, it's just a giant Twix. They have the big Twix here. I like those. So, uh, they're good. I bought my kids, my wife, uh, my son loves Lion Bars. I don't know if you've ever had Lion Bars. They're pretty, I, they're out of reach. I already showed them to you, but, um. They have them all over Europe. They're they're he thinks they're the best thing ever. I got him a six pack of Lion Bars and bought my wife and my daughter a whole bunch of milk of chocolate and uh, Hirabu uh, gummy bears and stuff because they like the ones they have like the German writing on them. And over here the Hirabu they have a million different kinds of it. And same with the milk of chocolate. That's why I bought it. We can get milk of chocolate in America, obviously, but there are a bazillion um, different kinds over here. A million different flavors, so. Um, gummy sharks. I do have some gummy sharks. I got those for somebody who is a viewer of my uh, bike website. Uh, yes, good beer bounds. We just talked about that. Yeah, it's it's not as it's not as much a variety as people think it is, though. In Austria, you go to places that have a million different beers, but up up here in the western midwestern uh, Germany, it's just whatever company is attached to that bar. Which in this area is more often than not Bitburger, because Bitburger is right down the, um, there is no bidding in my Skaha. Um, actually, uh, a funny Bitburger thing, Bitburg, uh, they have a hospital there. That's where I got my appendix taken out. My emergency appendectomy. I went to the U.S. military hospital in Spangdahl, and I drove 
well, my wife drove me there because I was in a lot of pain, my ex-wife, and um, they uh, couldn't get me into an ER, so they sent me to the German hospital. So I had my appendix removed by a nice German doctor at the hospital in Bitburg. Mm-hmm. You're a vodka drinker. I'm a vodka guy too, honestly. I drink. I yeah, vodka's vodka's a good good thing. Um, Alan G says a vodka drinker, and I, I'm just a yeah, a Moscow mule. Mm-hmm. That'll do her. Um, I heard if you get one DUI in Germany, your license is gone for the first offense. Uh, I I don't the. I don't think it's that bad, but uh, their driving laws, and they're smarter, though, so, like, DUI is a big deal, and tailgating on the Autobahn is, like, a 400-euro fine. It's a lot of money, but speeding isn't really bad, yeah, whatever. It's it's hardly anything. I hope so, because I think I got popped twice <laughs> this week already. <laughs> Not on the Autobahn. I was in, I was staying with a friend in a tiny little village, 30 kilometers on our speed limit, and... I was just following the car in front of me, and I saw the camera flash. But a lot of times, if you're from out of the country, and um, um, if you're from out of the country in, in a rental car, they don't even bother sending you the ticket when it's something really small. Uh, what material is weathering? This is a uh, rubber one. It's a... I don't remember. I wear it when I'm working on stuff or when I'm traveling. It's just my rubber one. It's a Quark brand, I think. I got an REI or something. My regular one is uh, Tungsten. Mm, yeah, Tungsten's good. Good wedding ring material. I, I asked one of my buddies who's an EMT, and I said, what's the hardest metal I can get my wedding ring made out of that you can cut off? Because I used to have a titanium one. And I had a couple of uh, EMT buddies say, uh, yeah, we can't cut that off. So if you break your finger and it swells up, we're probably going to cut your finger off. So I went tungsten because tungsten they can actually cut. It's that That's kind of the hardest, most scratch resistant thing they can actually cut. Should we talk about knives? Should we do that? Why don't we do that? This is a knife channel after all. I showed you these in another video, but if you didn't watch that, my haul, I did pick up one more today, but um, I'm still loving this heart cough. Oh, it's so pretty. This poor forward facing camera on here, which isn't that great. Uh, so I love it. So you can, you guys can see yourselves talking in the blade. Very pretty. Uh, what's the tattoo? Um, it's a, it's bike chain. Um, it used to be, uh, this, but very small. It's my kids' names. Um, it used to be that, but uh, it was very tiny and it kept bleeding out, not looking right. And, and so I got it covered and moved it to hear uh, but yeah this thing is very pretty and it was not expensive it's a uh, hundred euros it's that's not for the i mean the quality on this is uh i hate to offend i know they have some very avid fans this is as good as any gec i've ever had really nice little lock back cow horn i am in i am full of smit for this thing it's very nice the only thing weird about it is it does it does that, but it's just the way it sits on the, just the way the spring is, so, yeah, it's cool. Um, I also bought a couple of Mercators, not the ones I wanted. I really wanted the Black Cat Lockback one, but I couldn't find it. Um, these are just the slip jointy ones. I got a brass for myself with the carbon blade, which I've already managed to patina a little bit because I was using it. That's just kind of cool. This is a terrible way to show knives, but you look clear. It's weird. It looks clearer on my screen on my computer than it does looking at it on my phone that I'm filming on. But um, and then I bought my son. Maybe he he's kind of been pissing me off. So we'll see if I uh, actually give it to him or I just keep it for myself. But I got him a copper one with a stainless blade. Same exact knife. It's the uh, I don't remember what the model number is on him, but this is just the. Uh, that one. And then today I bought, uh, I already had one of these or have one of these, but it, the wood cracked on it. And, um, I, it was, it got, got really loose. So I got in one. Ironically, I bought the other one here too, but, uh, I bought this one. It's just a Antonini old bear. 
kind of like an open L, but instead of having to twist the thing in the front, there's just this thumb little collar that rotates through and locks it, which is pretty neat. There's something like that. Um, I like them better than open owls. Uh, the blades might not be quite as nice, but I like this. I like that one hand closed thing on it. It's pretty cool. But definitely the hero of this trip has been, I told you guys, I was always only bringing one knife with me. And uh, I, I do not regret it. I just brought this TRM Atlas. And this thing has been a freaking hero, man. It's been fantastic. I have really, really, really enjoyed it. I just used it tonight. I put a picture on Instagram. I got my pizza. I asked them to cut it. They don't cut it here unless you ask And uh, in, in Germany. And I asked them to, and they didn't. So I, I used this to cut my pizza tonight, even though it's a tiny little blade. And I have bigger ones, obviously, here. This thing is just so sliced and so... I just love, I just, I, this thing has been great. It's very discreet to carry. I've opened it up in front of Germans and nobody freaks out about it because knives aren't a common thing over here. And it's, God, it's just been amazing. And I've had it for long enough now. It's really broken in well. And it's just so smooth now. One hand open. It's just, God, I love this thing. I, I, I am enamored with this knife now after this week. I, it's, I always liked it, but, uh, I didn't carry it a whole lot. I carried it quite a bit, but not, not as much as I will now. It's definitely, I've bonded with it very, very much. Um, oh, the pizza looked delicious. It was. It's, I'd forgotten. I've eaten there before. My wife and I, when my wife came to me last year, and when I came over, and we ate there a lot, and um, I'd forgotten how good it was. As I just got it back to the room, and it smelled so good, I just, I ate three quarters of it. Now I'm kind of getting a little heartburn before I go to bed. But that's the price you pay for greatness, ladies and gentlemen. It also could be the it also could be maybe the fact that that was my fourth meal of the day, and the other meals were normal breakfast fare, um, a pork, basically a pork chop sandwich, um, currywurst, and three quarters of a pizza. So it could just be those those things put together. I know shit gain usually four or five pounds in the week that I'm here. Currywurst is the pinnacle of food. I don't think there's ever going to be anything better than currywurst. I can't imagine anything better than currywurst. It's like a smaller version of the Kaiser Kesmic. I don't remember what the Kesmic looks like off the top of my head. Um, thank you again for all the birthday wishes. I can keep up with all of them. So, but thank you very, very much. Um, best gummy bears you've had are Turkish. There's a lot of a lot of Turkish people over here. That's for sure. In Germany, it's very very common. I almost got into a fight with one the first day I was here, not because he was Turkish, but because he was being an asshole. Um, yeah, I was parked on the street and uh, it was my, I'm in a tiny little Opel Atom. It's like a little like the size of a Fiat 500. It's a little tiny little freaking car. Two empty spaces in front of me. I'm in the car, I start it up, I'm getting ready to pull forward, and this guy whips in in a van and just starts backing up towards me and, like, backing up, backing up, backing up, and as I'm trying to pull out, just backing up, backing up, and I thought he was going to hit me. So I laid on the horn, I laid on the horn again, he finally stops, and now I can't get out. I'm blocked in. He has a whole spot in front of me, he just, blocked, just pulled in and blocked me in my spot. And the car's a soft top, so the top's down, and the wind, the windows are open. And he comes out, gets out of the van, and goes, in German, why are you honking? And I said, what, did, what does Steve do now? i go back and see. No, I can't see. But he's yelling at me, why are you honking? And I said in German, because you're going to hit me. And then I think he got that I was American. And then he said in English, we're from Germany, we can drive here. And I said, well, I'm from New York, and we can park, and you park like a fucking asshole. Move your car, I can't get out. And he, he, was, he was not happy with that response at all, but then there was a bunch of Chinese tourists around, and they all started pointing that he had blocked me in, and he had to sheepishly get in his car and move. And then 
I drew, pulled out and he honked at me and I stuck my hand out the sunroof and the fabric roof thing and flipped him off and I was the ugly American but I think in that I think on that particular day uh it was justified I think it was justified that day I was not happy telling a New Yorker that he no, that you can part better than me eat a dick I'm starting to sound like Super Steel Steve here with my potty mouth. I apologize for that. Uh, you guys are talking amongst each other as I'm ranting about men that made me angry. It ruined my whole day, though. It was my first day here, and God, I, I was so mad, and I don't like it when I get angry like that. I get, I'm get, i good at it, and uh, it really bothers me when I get angry like that. Um, but, uh, <laughs> showed up for a perfect American abroad. I'm normally really nice. Normally, no one knows that I'm American over here. I normally am very, very good at that. But uh, that day, oh man, that guy made me mad. In America, I mean, I mean, in, in New York, if he'd have parked like that, somebody just would have rammed his car and pushed it out of the way. This is Germany. We know how to drive. Asshole, I've lived in Germany longer than you have. Shut your mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, when is your next video, Steve? You haven't done many in a, in a while. Uh, you can simulate in Europe like a turd in a punch bowl. It's not that big of a difference. They just speak another language. It's really not. People are people. Stuff is stuff. It's really not that... Uh, it's really not that much different. It's just a little, uh, every, everything's just older. Everything's older and they speak another language, but other than that, it's really not that big a difference. Um, you skipped one week. Must be I missed a few. Or maybe I just, I just missed your silly face. It was Easter. Yeah, I don't do Easter. I always forget there is an Easter. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm guy. I'm so mad about that pair of three lightweight guys. You guys keep asking me about it. I, I knew it. Like I knew, I had a premonition about two weeks ago. I was like, that freaking thing's gonna ship. It's gonna arrive while I'm in Germany. I know it is. I just know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. And then sure enough, I was at the damn airport in Rochester, leaving to come here. Hey, your pair of three lightweight order has shipped. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it. I think Spider Co. delayed it just long enough just to make me mad. Just to make me mad. Mine's, mine's at my house, sitting there waiting for me. <laughs> Chef's the Easter like it or not. I don't know what that means. Um... Oh, all ho okay, I get me. Yeah, all holidays. I don't do many. Um, we do, we do Thanksgiving and Christmas, and um, actually, the uh, um, open your box first, Keith. What do you mean? Um, and we do a St. Patrick's Day. is very, very huge in my house. It has nitrogen. It's what plants crave. You can't steal that, Steve. Don't do that. I'm, I'm very much planning to say that in my review. It's what plants crave. Uh, yeah, BD1N is supposed to be a, a huge difference if it's done right. But I, I've never had a BD1N knife before, so we will see. Oh, I have mail from you. Awesome. Because if it's the P.O. box, I should probably have somebody check it out. Because uh, I'm not going back till. Well, I guess it'll be tomorrow. Now, I guess I guess it'll be fine. Thank you. Whatever you sent me, unless it's like, uh, unless it's anthrax. That old thing again. Yeah, you know, BD One's very popular in kitchen knives. Uh. -uh. Spicy anthrax. Ooh, that's my favorite kind. That's my favorite. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Maybe it's everyone. Yeah, I was really hoping I was going to get the first. And I, and, and you know what? It worked. I did exactly what I did. I pre ordered it from the same place I always pre order stuff from that I know always gets it first. And I did get it first and it did ship first. And I would have had the first review up. And then I'm over here when it shows up. Ass hats. It's good info. BD1N Mannix would rock. I've heard rumor from people who would know that um, they're going to be doing a whole lot of stuff in um, BD1N, that a lot of the BD1 stuff is switching to BD1N, and maybe even some of the HCR13 MOV stuff is switching to BD1N. So we shall see. What do I think about the bailout, Slicey? I will let you know very shortly. I, I, if it's not there when I get home, it will be there probably the day after. So, very excited to get my hands on it. Looks cool. I love the, I love the bug out. So, so the plan is, when I get home Tuesday night, I'm going to immediately run upstairs, do a very quick first impressions video of the pair three lightweight. Then the next day I'll probably do the bailout, and then probably like Friday or Saturday I'm going to do uh, uh, the pair of three versus the bug out. So, because um, I think the bug out compares more than the bailout does to the pair of three. So that's uh, what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plan on doing. And then probably in a couple of weeks I'll do a full pair of three review, maybe. But a lot of times I do the first impressions, and that's all you guys watch. So, um... Yeah, I, th I heard the same thing, Semper. But I also heard that maybe some of the eight CRs are going to switch to it, too. I think they... And later, Merc, yeah, it's good, good to... Thanks for stopping by. Um, I think uh, you watch me in the shower. Did Do you watch me showering, or do you watch my videos while you're in the shower? Because that's two totally different things. If you watch it... If you watch my videos while you're in the shower, you do you. But if you're watching me in the shower... We have to have some words. And why would you do that? I I don't like seeing it, and it's me. Uh, both, of course. Um, and, uh, I'm not going to stand here too long tonight, because uh, I'm going to go to bed, because it's late, and I've had a... I actually worked today. It's my birthday, and I actually... This was the, I've been working the whole week that I've been here, but this is actually my hardest day. It was the shortest. I was done by, I think I was done by like two and left to drive up here, but it was like a, it's like a two and a half hour drive from where I was to here and uh, a beautiful drive though. It was like nice Autobahn blast and then uh, a lot of, in about 45 minutes of really twisty, curvy, wonderful roads. Um, and this is, uh, not not to use the R word, rapeseed, it's what they call it, it's what it is, it's a, they grow it for um, vegetable oil and stuff like that, so, and it's all blossoming right now, so it's all just, the whole countryside is yellow with all these rapeseed fields, and it looks, it looks beautiful, it smells like ass in a can, but looks very pretty, um, nice twisty roads through all that stuff, and through the woods and everything, it was, it was a really fun drive, um, the, uh, how fast did I go? Uh, the car I got's pretty slow, so only uh, it, it topped out at uh, 200 kilometers an hour, which is 125, 125 miles an hour. That's all she's got, Captain. I was following uh, this big Audi, and I heard, nee, 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 and it was hitting the rev limiter, and I looked down, and it was going 200k, so that's as fast as it would go. So I backed off to, like, 190k because... Uh, not my car, so I don't care. Yeah, they call it canola over there. Yeah, but it's rapeseed. That's what it is. It's it's the the that word. I can't remember what it means. It means um. Oh, it has an agricultural meaning. Were the doors shaking? No, it was completely stable and fine. It just was out. It's really quick around town. It's got 130 horsepower and it weighs as much as a pack of cigarettes. So it's really quick around town, but it's just really low geared. The gear is just super low. So like zero to zero to 30, it's a rocket ship. And then after that, just the, the world ends. 
I remember to tell you, you look like Tom Sizemore from Saving Private Ryan days. Um, yeah, I, I, I'd like to say no, but I do, I do hear, I do hear that sometimes. I've heard Tom Sizemore before. Not that specific, but I have heard Tom Sizemore. Um, Bitburger. Are you interested in the Leatherman Free? I've, I've, there's a group I'm in, I've heard people talking about it, but I haven't even looked at it. How much street food did you eat so far? Oh, let me count the ways. Um, I had street food tonight, but that was in a proper restaurant uh, because I like the place. I've been there. My, it's kind. Of, it's kind of a proper restaurant. Um, they're the best currywurst in Germany. But um, and we're still going to count that because currywurst is definitely street food. So I've had uh, two schnitzels, two currywurst. Uh, Pork sandwich. Does pizza count? Now, one pizza was a very fancy pizza. I'm going to say one pizza. So I'm going to say seven. Seven of my meals have been what would qualify as uh, street food. How's the craft beer scene there? As I can tell, non-existent. I don't know if, if I'm wrong about that. But it's most, especially in my area of Germany that I hang out in, it's all commercial stuff. Uh, excuse me, I apologize for that. Oh, I have heartburn from eating all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I do apologize for that. I normally never burp on camera. I'm not a, I'm not an ogre like Steve is. He burps on camera all the time. Um, we talk all the time. Snuggle Bunny. I don't talk to Scout, and I don't know him at all. Um, but yeah, Snuggle Bunny and Shabazz and. Frankie and I actually talk, yeah, almost daily. You're a Neanderthal, not an ogre. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, does Shabbat have a weird face? I've never seen it. I talked to him on the interwebs. We're supposed to meet up at Blade Show, so, uh, but I, I'm sure I'll be sworn to secrecy. I assume there's going to be some paperwork involved before I'm allowed to look at his face. Uh, he does have a nice hat. Oh, I got a free hat today, too. I, every time I'm in Germany, it's like one of my traditions. I buy a hat, and I went in to go talk to the nice little old man that owns the hat place, and I said... I said, I was my, got to get my usual birthday hat. And he said, oh, it's your birthday? And he just gave me one. It's pretty cool. I like it. Happy with it. He had to sign a contract after he had coffee? Yeah, I would assume so. I mean, he has his identity to protect for some reason. It's fine, though. Some people are private. I'm not. I've been a public figure for 20 years, so... Um, what kind of watch do I have on? Seiko 5 is my usual watch. I want to get a new G-Shock, though, but I don't know which one. I don't want to spend a crap ton on it, because I like my 5 so much I'm going to be wearing that, but... Yeah, I heard there was a rumor there was one of his that shows his face, but I'll find out in person when I see him. Yep, the NDA. I'm going to do a face reveal on the first year anniversary of your channel. I, I know exactly what your face looks like, Steve. I think everybody knows. Oh, man. Heartburn. I'm eating too much pork. But you know what I'm going to eat tomorrow? Pork. I'm never going to stop. You can't stop me. Do you? Do you? I know there's a guy on your channel that talks sometimes. I'd love to own a Mr. G one day. Um, thank you, Fish for Trout. I appreciate it. It's been a very good birthday. My birthday's over here. It ended 40 minutes ago over here. But we're just going to make it a two-day birthday because I have nothing to do tomorrow. So um, I'm not going to do anything because today was my birthday and I was working. So tomorrow is my down day before I fly out. And I have to just go buy stuff for my wife. I have to go fill her wine order. And um, 
that's pretty much all I've got planned for the day. Might go to uh, might go to the Nurburgring and do a couple laps, but we will see if I have time or not. No cake, no, but I had a tiramisu gelato. No, I can't make it birthday week, unfortunately. When I get back, I have reality to deal with. I got to go, uh, got a lot of work to catch up on, and then I got to take my wife's car in to get inspected, and it's going to fail because it has a check engine light, which I know what it is, but it's a freaking Volkswagen, so there's a some O2 sensor buried down inside the engine, so it's going to be a $15 part that's going to cost $400 to install, I'm sure. Annoying. Unlimited budget, what one car do you buy? Right now, um, I'd probably get... Off the top of my head, a Ferrari 812 super fast, I would imagine. I would imagine. Movie watching on the plane ride there. Um, uh, my freaking thing was broken on my seat. I didn't watch anything. I'm not usually a movie guy, though, on planes. I listen to audiobooks and try to sleep. Uh, this time I actually did really well. And the, it was a nine-hour flight, and I got uh, three hours of sleep, which is way more than I usually get. I used to knock out and sleep the whole way, but I can't do that anymore. Never, um, I just can't get comfortable. Bad neck and stuff. Aston Martin, I assume you meant DB9. Well, they're up to the DB11 now. DB11 would be nice. You like the interior of McLaren's. McLaren's are just too, uh, computery for me. I don't think they have any, they're, they're fast, they're, but they're just, I don't have any soul to me. Um, seen the jealous yet? I don't know what that means. Thanks, T Rail. Appreciate it. It was a good birthday. I was by myself, all by my lonesome. None of my friends are in town. I came up here to see. They're all out of town. So just me. By my lonesome, but I was in my favorite city in the world, in my favorite restaurant, eating my favorite food. Not too shabby. Can't complain there. And I bought a knife. So that makes it a good birthday. So not an expensive one, but I got one. Did you get to drive a Jimny? No, I didn't. I wish I could have rented one. I don't I mean I, I do, but I don't. It, for my driving here, it's useless. I mean, on the Autobahn, I can't imagine. That thing's a lot of fun. But um, I really wanted a Jimny. So bad. Really want one. Do a knife recommendation list by bracket, price, geometry, and use case. That sounds like an insanely boring task that I will not take on. No, I just don't. I'm not into, like, doing spreadsheets and stuff like that. It's like making silly videos where I try and uh, slip in a dick joke every now and then. I know my limits. I know, And I know my uh, my audience. What do you miss more, not my kids or my knives? Um, well, I miss one of my kids more than my knives, and I won't say which one. Uh, ever going to get a custom knife? Maybe. I don't know. I've talked about this before. It's just I, my knife tastes are so bland that um, if I ordered a custom knife, it would be the most boring version of that knife that guy has ever made. Um so I kind of don't see the point in it. I'd be spending like a, you know, a grand for a pretty plain, boring look. I think that uh, Mokutai is hideous. I, th I don't like the look of Damascus blades. I don't like a lot of the stuff that people spend a lot of money on. It's just not my thing. Um, oh, somebody actually just asked the unlimited funds car question. I said, I said a, um, uh, Ferrari 812 super fast at the moment. Uh, just get an Arius V3. I was this close to getting an Arius. I was like, I was right. I had. I was just going to get a regular Arius with a carbon scale, and that was it. And everything else pretty basic spec. I don't remember what happened. A bill came up or something, and I didn't get it. And I just never have. And I, I need to, though. It, that's the next one. Use the tax refund. <laughs> oh, you funny man. The tax refund's long gone. On bills. That's catching up on bills. The tax refund came and went like a fart in the wind. 
as my mother would say. Like a fart in the wind. She didn't have an accent, but she was very Irish. Um, like old muscle cars, lorries. Yeah, I've actually been really into, I've kind of been looking for, so my car situation right now, I, my fun car, we have three cars. I have a, a Suzuki or a Subaru Outback that I drive, uh, which is, it, it's old. It needs to get replaced. And, uh, we have a Volkswagen Golf. It's fairly new. And then, um, I have a 1984 Honda CRX, which was my first car I ever had. Uh, not this one. I totaled the first one. That's what you do. And then I bought an identical one to my first car. It has a structural issue with it. The One of the shock towers rusted through. So um, it hasn't collapsed yet, but um, I can't really drive it. So I've been thinking about parting it out. And uh, one of the cars I've been looking at, actually, I want like an early 70s uh, Mercury Cougar. I don't know why I'm into that particular car, but it looks like a murderer's car. And I want a I want a murdery looking car. I want an all blacked out early 70s Mercury Cougar. I don't know why I'm so so specific, but they just look evil as hell with the the flip, you know, the covered headlights and stuff. Yeah. I really want one of those. Uh you should make your own hinder with alt EH available hardware in places. Yeah. I would love to, uh, I'd love to do some collab with somebody, but I'm not a really designer. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, make a knife out of the CRX. It's all plastic. <laughs> it would make a terrible knife. It's all plastic. Oh, you got a 67 Cuda. Nice one, man. Yeah, I just want like a driver condition early 70s Cougar with the that just black on black on black on black everything. I don't even want it to be perfect. I want it to look like it, I want it to look like I just fled the scene of a crime in a Stephen Queen movie. I think it's too much to ask of a car. I think it's too much at all. And I want it to make blah 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 sounds. My CRX currently makes the pop pops, so I've had that. You know, when you downshift on the on the overrun, pop 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 pop, it does that, and I've had that. But um, now I want uh, now I want the blah blah. I'm just making car sounds. That's what this video is devolved into now. I already had my favorite car ever. I think I already owned it, and I and I now they're priced out where I can't afford it, but. I had a 90, 1994 Toyota Super Twin Turbo hardtop, and um, oh my god, I loved that car. That that thing was fantastic. But I had it for two years. Never thought they'd stop making them. And um, I got married, and I sold it, and uh, really regretted it. I bought it for thirty four grand. I drove it for two and a half years. I sold it for thirty four grand. So I was very happy. But now they're an unmolested one. Mine was completely unmodified. 150 grand. Something like that they go for now. Crazy towns. But God, that car was so fast and just so comfortable. And I loved it. I went through a lot of rear tires for some reason. Probably all the 4,000 RPM clutch drops. I imagine is why I burned through them. But I'm not sure. Uh, who's your favorite knife company of 2019? Um... Of 2019, I have to say Benchmade so far. I like, I like the bailout. I like the Super Freak. Um, yeah, I think I think at the moment, at the moment, or Benchmade, or you can always say Civivi because they come out with a million different knives. It's almost unfair at this point with how many knives they're coming out with. Um. Yeah, how do you feel about mass drops? We knives. I mean, I. I I haven't had a bad one yet, so I mean, as far as quality goes, there's, I'm, you know, design wise, it's personal taste. You're gonna like what you're gonna like, and you're not gonna like what you're not gonna like. But I have cannot complain about the quality. Quality is amazing on them. Um, should I get a Mass Drop Keen or an O450? The O450 does not fit my hand at all, so uh, I'm not the guy to ask. But the Keen is full, freaking amazing. Get a keen. Any fixed blade 
you like or want to review like EDC size. I hate EDCing fixed blades. I don't like it. It's I never found a comfortable way to carry one. Um, I don't really have any opinion on fixed blades though. Sunwise and eighty nine super. Yeah, it was previous generation. Those were cool too. Um, you ever consider getting more exclusive sprint runs? I may. Yeah, I mean, I, I get one every now and then, but I just don't keep them, and that's what I've I've discovered. So. If I can pay wholesale like a can of form for other stuff, but I'm not going to sit in line for them. I'm not going to, you know, wait until sitting there on the computer hitting refresh at 10 a.m. on Blade HQ to get a jade handle M4 of what I already have. I'm just not going to do it. Man, I just realized how creepy that looked when I did that on the screen. That's going to be a gif in a matter of five minutes. Um... No, I'm just I'm just not into uh, waiting like that anymore. And I sell them because uh, somebody offers me ridiculous money, and I just sell them. So I don't see the point in it. Is the sky high worth the wait? I think so. Um, I didn't wait as long as some of you guys are going to have to wait, though. I only waited a year. I know some of you guys have waited a, a lot. Show the sky high. I can't. It's four thousand miles away. My arms aren't that long. Neck knives, really hate neck knives. Really don't like uh, stuff hitting my chest. Can't stand it. Oh yeah, and I can't stand turtlenecks. I don't like. I don't like someone gently choking me through the entire day. Or up to three hundred and ten for this guy. I think somebody outbid you last time. I think I had a bit of three fifty last time. You guys don't understand how bidding works. See, Matt does. Matt Matt went up. And, uh, and see, Zach, now you lost your you lost your bargaining power because you helped me get my hands on an anthem. So you can't even offer to trade me an anthem for it because I've already got one. Oh, I missed my anthem. Oh, I just said it and now I missed it. Now I missed my anthem. I barely got to know it and then I went away. Fun, fun, fun on the Autobahn. Yeah, it was... <laughs> I did get... So I'm driving. I don't know if you guys watched the video of this Opal Atom. It's a tiny, tiny little car. But uh, you know what they say the fastest car in the world is? Is a rental. And uh, this is a rental Opal Atom. So is the Opal Atom I'm currently driving is the fastest Opal Atom in in the country of Germany. Because uh, I have uh, I don't need a throttle pedal on this car. I just need a switch. Like an off, on, off, on. It's just every time. just mad it all the time. It's a fun car. Probably not going to get my deposit back on it, though, because some idiot scuffed it in a parking lot. It's a tiny little scuff, and I don't know. We'll see. I'm, like, double insured on it. It's insured through my credit card and my car insurance. Uh, I, don't, I don't ever buy the company's... Avis is car insurance because it's a ripoff, but because uh, it's already insured through my credit card. But yeah, it's parked in a parking garage and came out, and there's scuff on it. Um, thoughts on the Benchmade proper? Really nice knife. Really like it. Uh, oh, we had a Corrado VR6. Those were really nice. My buddy had one of those when I was in the Air Force. That was a fun car. He couldn't drive to save his ass. And uh, he bought it, and uh, I had the Supra, and um, I went out and actually taught him how to drive fast in it because I went to I went to a Skip Barber Racing School, so I actually do kind of know how to drive fast. Uh, it's a cool story about my dad. Um, I think about him a lot today because I guess it's my birthday, but uh, he passed away a while ago. But uh, I got a ticket when I was 17 years old, going 92 miles an hour in a 55, and his response was to send me to racing school to show me that. Uh, I'm not as good as I thought I was. And it was very good. I learned a lot about how to handle it. So I learned that, like, yeah, I'd... driving that fast on public roads is really stupid. I was going 92 and a 55 on a back curvy road. and It did it did the job. It, a unique approach to uh, handling that with a teenager, but he did a very good job. Most people, most parents would have taken their car away or something like that. He sent me to racing school. My dad was a very unique dude. 
as far as I think that was the car equivalent of uh, catching you smoking and making you smoke the entire pack in front of him. I'm not seeing any chat. I don't know if it's just slowing down. You guys seem as tired as I am. I hit refresh here because sometimes the chat stops. So stops refreshing. There we go. Now I'm seeing some more. I just missed them. Um. 88 and 55 on a 10 big ticket. Yeah, at the I've never gotten um huge speeding fines. I talk, I got pulled over going 103 to 55 and I got no ticket whatsoever. And that 92 and a 55 I wound up with a failure to obey traffic control device. I think you need more cold steels. I don't necessarily disagree with that, Matt. I'm gonna get the 8015. I'm gonna get another 8015 again. I had it and sold it and kind of miss it. I just hate the scales on it. But um, oh, thanks for the thanks for the donation, Gamma. I appreciate it. Um, I showed all the stuff I have pretty much. I got one more today. I got replaced my Antonini Big Bear. My other one cracked. I mean, I still have it and it still works. It's a functional knife, but I have the my other one is the only drop shut Antonini Big. Or old bear, sorry, old bear in the country because <laughs> it's just so loose. As soon as you flip the lock, it just goes tink and just drops, which probably is not what they intended to. Hello, blue collar survival. How you doing? Um, please do pig slashing test on your channel. I will not. Epoxy the crack. I tried, mate. I I tried, but it's it's spread out, and the the damage is done, and I can't get it back again. The cheap knife. Just buy another one. Um. Flipping knife, drinking beer, not being called by the wife to help with dinner. All right, see you, Cullen. Have a good one. Keep your wife happy. Been loving the eighty ten and found a brand new Ultimate Hunter. Ooh, ooh, an XHP got an XHP Ultimate Hunter. Yeah, hold on to that, man. Oh, the eighty ten is like, oh my god, it's good. I, I, so I, when the eighty ten and eighty fifteen came out, I had to decide which one to get. Wow, I just realized you guys just saw my brain. Make sure to keep my head down. Um. Oh, thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Um. Yeah, so I, I had to choose between the 8010 and 8015. I got the 8015 because of the, the lock, because it's unique. And then everybody was saying how great the 8010 was, and I thought maybe I made a mistake. And then I sold the 8015 and got an 8010, and yeah, I had made a mistake. I should have got the 8010 first. The 8010 is freaking great. The 8015 is a great knife, too, but man, the 8010 is oh, it's so good. Thank you, Blue Collar Survival. I appreciate it. How am I enjoying Germany? It's going going well gonna be sad when I go home I told a little story at the beginning it's always happy sad here when I come to Kokum because it's the most beautiful little town in the world and I used to live here so now it's it's like I'm so happy to be back but then you have to leave again and it's just it's happy sad every time I'm here I'm happy to be here but I'm counting the hours until I have to get in the car and drive to the airport I'm sure everybody has a place like that but that's why I call this home. I always will, even though I lived here a few years. But um, my wife doesn't like it when I call it home. But I'm not diminishing my actual home. It's just this is this is home. I feel more comfortable here than anywhere else in the world. Ergo's in the 8010, the best I've seen. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, I saw the prices went up a lot on those. I noticed that when I did the review for the 8010, I hadn't noticed it. And then at the last minute... I was looking up stats and taking notes, and I was, I didn't even, it didn't even register then. It didn't register until I was doing the video, and I heard it come out of my mouth, and I was like, oh, God. Would I ever move back to Germany? Uh, yeah, I definitely would. Um, I have family stuff that has to resolve itself one way or the other. I have a mother in a, in a nursing home, so um, it's a, that's a thing. Um, I did get a job offer yesterday though, but, uh, it's an open-ended job offer. I can take it or leave it whenever I want to. Um, basically a company offered to create a position for me if I ever wanted to come back. So, um, maybe, maybe, uh, I would love to, but you know, I have a wife and 
my kids are almost done. You know, I mean, my youngest is 17. So, um, I don't know, maybe in a few years, not now, two or three years from now, I could totally see coming back. Um, I miss it horribly. Yeah, decisions, decisions. Yeah, it's, uh, and you know, I'm 44. That's my birthday. I'm 44. And, uh, this is my last move. This is my, whatever I do next is the last thing I do. You know what I mean? Like, not like, you know, I'm going to like step off a bridge, but you know, that my next big career change is my last, that's my last one. You know what I mean? It's just, that's what it is. No, my wife knows the plans. We talk, we talk about it all the time. I'm very open my wife, but she knows I want to come back and she loves it here too. So, um, She's not against it. She's not for it. She's not against it. She's pretty neutral about it. So, um, yeah. Yeah, damn, I am old. 44 years old. This is, you know, whatever my next job is, probably going to be my last one. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Good to him. Um, what do good about Germany? Anything in particular? I'm, saying, I'm assuming you're asking... What do I like about uh, Germany? Is uh, their proper grammar? I'm sorry, I had to I had to kick you in the balls for what do good about Germany. That's not a sentence. Um, what do I like about it? It's just beautiful, and um, it's not nearly as expensive as everybody thinks it is. Um, very sensical laws, I guess, is the best way to to put it. Um, and the people are great once you get to know them. Um, a lot of the stereotypes about Germans are 100% true. You know, they're a bit, bit anal retentive. They're um, uh, a bit uptight about things sometimes. Uh, but a lot of a lot of it is they actually are really funny people. It's just they're so dry in their sense of humor that you don't you don't notice it. But once you get to know them, they, they like a laugh as much as anybody else. And um, the leader hosen I'm not into, <laughs> but uh, which is more common than I than I thought it would be, especially in this region that that I I hang out in. Um, but uh, yeah, and oh, and today I saw a uh, um, a big they had a big like festival thing going on, and um, I saw a Dire Straits cover band in German. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That was uh, that was terrible. That was terrible. If you follow me on Twitter at Brian J Ball B R Y A N J B A L, I shot a little video of it. If you want to see um, Germans singing Dire Straits in German in front of like it was a, there was a crowd. It was like a couple hundred people watching that. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. So they have weird they have weird tastes in some things, but uh, I like. I like the people. I love. I just love the country. I just really like it. For ten subscribers, special, you have to wear leader hose. Why would I punish myself for getting ten thousand subs? That makes no sense whatsoever. I'd never do that. Yeah, a German dire straits come back because there's a long bridge across. I'm, I'm staying on one side of the river. I'm walking across the bridge to the other. It's a really wide river, long bridge, a quarter of the way across the the bridge i'm like is that money for nothing i'm hearing yep that's money for nothing and then it ended and then then they they started playing like and there was another dire straight song i'm like it's like and then i went and shopped around came back they were still playing dire straits i couldn't believe it oh uh, you should have seen the dubbed a10 or 18 yeah it would have been funny yeah Uh -uh. Never had any issue storing spring assisted knives closed. No, they're not. German funny is dry as a desert. No, I, I, I know some some of my funniest friends are Germans actually. So what well, guy I stayed with this uh this week, uh Heiko, he's a great dude. He lives in an amazing little town. It's like the quaintest little German town, but it still has a big grocery store and stuff. It's just, it's a perfect little town. And uh, he's one of the funniest people I know in my life. He makes me laugh constantly. And he's a, a very, very funny dude. Uh, 
Germany is the land of rivers. Even the Romans complain about it. Yep, there are a lot of rivers here. And a lot of Roman shit, too. A lot of Roman shit. Actually, I, where I'm... Where I, I keep saying where I live, but I don't live here anymore. Ugh, it hurts to say that. But um, uh, this area, the Vulcan Eiffel region, um, is around the Mosul River and stuff. Is uh, a lot of Roman stuff, and they always say if you see a street that's has black cobblestones, it was probably put down by the Romans. And you guys get to see the filthy vape instead of just hear it been on here for a long time now but you guys are still watching and you know what i'm kind of awake now and it's 105 in the morning so i gotta start getting adjusted back to american time at some point i'm sure the other people in the hotel really like me sitting here talking because uh the, they don't they do not have thick walls do Germans still love David David Hasselhoff? Does a bear shit in the woods? Yes, they still like David Hasselhoff over here. I was surprised that band wasn't doing David Hasselhoff songs, but I wouldn't recognize one if I saw one. Well, I should probably try and get off here and go to sleep. We'll see. I might eat some Nick Knox first. I just complained about how full and heartburn I had, but Nick Knox are amazing, by the way. If you ever visit, I don't think they're only German. I think they're other places. I don't think they're even from here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It says made in Germany. But these are, Nick Knox are awesome. What kind of vape is that? This is actually my backup because my other one is charging. Uh, this is a Smock uh, Nord. Um, I do like it a lot though. It was my main one, but my other one is charging is, uh, lost. I just got this. So it's a lost vape, um, DNA. It's the programmable one. So you can plug it in the computer and program it and make it do things that I don't understand. So I, I plugged it in once and I saw a spreadsheet and I, I was terrified. Why did I start a nice channel? I answered it in the AMA thing, but it was just, um, I thought I'd be good at it. That's kind of how I, um, that's kind of how I, I, I have a tendency to take hobbies and turn them into businesses, and that's what I did with bike reviews, that's what I did with, um, um, and with the knife channel and stuff, I just thought I'd, and with, cop when I started doing stand-up, I just, I just thought maybe I'd be good at it, so I, I did it. Honey Badger versus Large Pilar, both eight CR. I don't my, my Large Pilar is D two. Thank you, safe flight home. I have no control over it, unfortunately, but thank you. I, I prefer that you send that message to whoever the pilot of my aircraft is. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's why I like flying in small planes because I used to be a I used to be a private pilot. I had a private pilot's license and like. One of those little two-engine turboprop puddle jumpers, I could probably land it. I'd probably be, it wouldn't be pretty, but I could probably get people down safe. Um, yeah, if I'm in a 777 or an Airbus A380, you're on your own. I don't know how to handle that thing. Cessna, no, I was a, my dad had a Beechcraft Bonanza. That's what I learned how to fly in. Have you reviewed Super Freak yet? Yes, a couple times. I reviewed it, and then it's been in... I guess just one comparison. Yeah, it's been in uh, the review and the one comparison. Uh, vape reviews. I should do a whole other channel and all that stuff. And no, I'm not. I don't. I, I've i always been. I mean, you guys know that I do because I think we're all friends here now. <laughs> all, all 43 of us. Sometimes there's 100 and some people on here. But uh, um, I, I'm still kind of embarrassed by it. I don't know. I just I feel like an idiot vaping in front of people. So I don't, um, I don't, uh, I would never do a channel about it. Um, yeah, I love the Super Freak. It's a great knife. Yeah, just go get one. They're fantastic. If they're in stock somewhere, I haven't kept track. I know they were out of stock for a bit, but, uh, they're fantastic. 
Thank you again for all the birthday wishes. Still getting some more of those. It's impossible to not look like a douche when you vape. Yep, you're you're absolutely right, Blue Collar Show. And what's ironic is I don't care what anyone says. Everyone started smoking because they thought it looked cool. There's no other reason that anyone in the history of mankind has ever started smoking. Any other thing you say is bullshit. And you started smoking because you thought it looked cool. And then in order to quit, we all switched to vapes and look like jackasses. So it's karma. It's just a cyclical karma thing. Of You started something to look cool, and then you wind up having to do something that makes you look like an idiot to stop doing it. And it's worked for me. I mean, I've been vaping for nine years. I haven't had a cigarette, but yeah, it's just, I think I'm going to do a bit about that. I just, that, that just came up with the idea for a joke. I can make that funny. Switch to cigars. You'll feel better about it on camera. I, I hate cigars. I never really liked the smell of cigarettes, but I couldn't stand. Man, my heartburns kill me. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, I, that's, uh, no, I, I never, I never liked cigarette smoke either. I always hated the way I smelled when I smoked. Yeah, that's going to be a bit. I'm going to have to remember to watch this video. I'm making notes now. Um, have you got a pair of 308 weight yet? Stop asking me. It's waiting at home and I'm very upset about it. It arrived uh, two days after I left. I, I flew out on Monday. It showed up on Wednesday and it's just sitting there waiting for me. What about the Grimsmo Norseman? That there is nothing about that knife that appeals to me, just from a visual sense. They used to taste great till you started uh, started vape. I'm just kidding, David. It's fine. I'm just I'm just upset that it's sitting there waiting for me. And I'm not doing a video about it. I wish I had it here with me to do a video. Um. Although I forgot my freaking monopod thing that clamps to my desk I meant to bring it with me specifically for this purpose of this video and that's why you're looking at my stupid face because I forgot it oh a pipe would look you're right a pipe might be a good look <laughs> the, look at the superb carbon fiber on the spidercare capata I'm, I'm pretentious enough as it is I don't need a pipe oh my god lightning would strike me I think if I got any more pretentious <laughs> now we're bidding on my heartburn. $55 for the heartburn. That's about what it cost me to get the heartburn if you add together all the shit bag meals I've eaten in the last couple of days. No, they were great meals. They were fantastic. But if we uh, if you add together the cost of all the schnitzel and currywurst and, and kebabs. Oh, I forgot about the kebabs. I've had a couple of kebabs too. Oh my God. I can't wait to weigh myself when I get home. I bet I've gained. I'm happy with my weight, so I don't mind when I gain a bit more. I'm 5'11", 185, so I don't care if I pick up four or five pounds. I'm When I get back this time, I, I bet I've gained at least five pounds. Um, oh, you do the Zyban thing. But, uh, yes, the revenge of junk food. And you know what I'm going to do tomorrow? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try and flank it, eat some more. I think I have Zantac in my bag. I always make sure I've got that. I'm going to take some Zantac tonight. I'm going to get up in the morning. I'm going to eat German breakfast, which is usually just like cold cuts and some bread or something, which is fine. And then I'm going to... What am I going to have tomorrow? Oh, I only had one kebab this time. So I had two schnitzels, two currywurst. So it's kebab time again. Yeah. So I think for lunch I'll have a kebab. And then I have to fly out Tuesday morning, so maybe maybe tomorrow night I might be nice and have a real meal somewhere. Mm. Best exercise is <laughs> drinking. Favorite blade shape ever. I just like a simple drop point if I have a choice. Um, for my purposes, though, like for the way that I use a knife, kind of all of them work. It's not really a big deal. I'm not a super hardcore hard user, so. Um. Wow, you had a heart attack. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're still with us. Even though apparently you are a menace with a knife, according to your name. Apparently, someone's not happy you're still with us, but I, but we are. We're glad you're still with us.
I've never done a live stream this long and never had this few viewers on in a long time, but you know what? I guess probably because you have to look at my face, and I don't blame you. I'm now sunburned, too. I'm sunburned, but it is currently 40... Let me pure. It's currently 41 degrees Fahrenheit out, so it's really freaking cold over here. But it was very hot earlier this year. Earlier this or this year, earlier this week, it was like 75 and sunny, and I was out wandering around, and I got burned pretty good just right here in my rosy little cheeks. I have red face all the time anyway. I got it from my dad. I hate that. Do a knife sharp sharpness test on your on my beard. No. I keep a perfect level of scruff. I like my scruff. You know the best thing about the German breakfast? Tasmanian Silver Stacker was saying about German breakfast, that multivitamin juice. Oh my god, it's so good. And uh, it just feels like a vitamin B shot. Like it's it's like pineapple, it's like orange, pineapple, banana, carrot. Maybe that's it. Um, it's got a bunch of different juices together and it's so good. And I finally found it in... Um, in uh, the States, at Wegmans, they have it. That's not a beard. You're right, it isn't a beard. It's just scruff. I keep it at a proper level of scruff. I let it get like this, and like as soon as I get home, I'll, I use the little quarter thing on the trimmers and knock it down. Um, love the Terra 3 lightweight, but can't help but thinking about how nice a PM2 lightweight would be now. Yeah, I, I bet we'll see one. I, I'm I can't have, I can't fathom the possibility that that there won't be a uh, <clears throat> a uh, PM2 lightweight. Uh. <clears throat> All right, well I'm gonna get going. Take some Zantac. Go to bed. So um. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out, spending my birthday with me. I very much enjoy it. Or my post birthday. My birthday come down, I guess. So uh have a good night, everybody. Well, or yeah, I guess it is still night there, right? Or unless you're in California, then I guess it's still afternoon, but whatever. It's 1 15 in the morning here, so uh, I'm going to sleepy times. Thank you guys again so much for coming out. Have a good 